Want relief from shoulder pain? Keep watching to find out. Your shoulder is the most unstable and movable joint in your body. Its wide range of movement is facilitated by four primary muscles and their tendons, which together are called the rotator cuff. If your shoulder becomes inflamed or an impingement occurs, you may make the mistake of avoiding using your arm to help it heal. It may surprise you to learn that controlled movement is one of the best ways to heal. Not moving actually causes your shoulder more pain. It can even lead to a frozen shoulder. The most common source of pain in the shoulder is the tendons. Your tendons attach the muscles of the shoulder to the bones. The sac of fluid that cushions your shoulder becomes swollen and painful as a result of repetitive motion. You may have bursitis, i.e. an inflammation of the bursa. If a tendon in your shoulder becomes inflamed, you may have tendinopathy. If a tendon gets pinched between or under the bones of your shoulder, it can result in shoulder impingement. Lifting overhead repetitively can also cause impingement and you may have swelling and pain as a result. If the tendon in your shoulder becomes torn, you've guessed it, you have a rotator cuff tear. Your rotator cuff can become damaged due to overuse, injury or age and tears usually cause pain when lifting and may be accompanied by a popping sound. Your shoulder and spine work together. While it may seem that they're completely different and independent areas of your body, research has shown that postural abnormalities can play a significant role in your likelihood of developing shoulder pain. Maintaining a full range of movement in your shoulder and the spinal joints of your neck and mid-back can help reduce your chances of experiencing shoulder pain. If you've been living with shoulder discomfort or difficulty moving, take a moment to contact us for a complete evaluation. We'll work together with you to create a movement-based plan that gives you the best chance of finding long-term relief naturally. Thanks for watching.